Congratulations, graduates of Crown College at UC Santa Cruz. We are here to recognize this milestone for you all, and we hope that you'll have a chance to celebrate this moment no matter where you are. Many of you have now gone further with your education than your parents could ever have dreamed. We are proud of you, and we feel honored to share some lessons from our lives as you embark on the next chapter in yours. Chris and I have worked in wild places all over the world, from Antarctica to the Amazon. We've documented wildlife, from aardvarks to elephants, and we've done that as advocates for our living planet. But instead of talking with you about our encounters with animals, as tempting as that may be, we want to share some turning points in our lives with you and what we've learned from working with people. When I came to UC Santa Cruz myself years ago to do research here, I arrived with a university degree from the Netherlands behind me and a professional goal in front of me. I was on a career path to become an environmental economist. But once I got here, life took a different turn. I felt inspired by the independent way of thinking that is such an important part of this university's culture. I felt freed from the expectations that had shaped me in Europe. And I began to think about a change in careers. I decided to become a photographer instead. It was a decision from the heart. My lesson to you all from my UCSC experience is this. The facts and the figures that you are so focused on while you're in school are not as important as how you learn to think about yourself and the world you are part of. And as graduates of UC Santa Cruz, you all have an excellent springboard from which to leap into the future, no matter what you end up believing in. I had high expectations for myself when I graduated from college and I was offered a job at National Geographic, which thrilled me. I had applied for a position as a writer, but when I showed up for work the first day, I learned that I was not hired as a writer. My job was to answer readers' questions to National Geographic. I thought to myself, this is not why I went to college, but a colleague begged me to give it a week. During that time, I realized that my entry-level position gave me the chance to knock on any door in the building, to get answers to readers' questions and connect with experts about all kinds of things, from archaeology to cartography. I learned a lot, and I made a lot of friends. And eventually, that first job did lead to me becoming a staff writer at National Geographic. The lesson I want to pass on to you from that experience is this. Embrace every opportunity, even if that initial job description is not what you were hoping for. Before my first meeting with National Geographic's Director of Photography, the man in charge of all the photo assignments, who had a fearful reputation, I noticed a sign on his office door that made me really nervous. It said, please wipe your knees before entering. I had arrived at a portfolio of photos to show to him. He went through that quite quickly. He was more interested in asking me what I wanted to do next than in hearing what I had done before. And I was not prepared for that question. I could not come up with a good response. I thought I'd fumbled my way through the interview, but fortunately, he did give me a chance to prove myself later on. My lesson from that interview for you is this. Don't be afraid of anyone. Behind every job title is a human being. Think of how to express who you are, but also think of saying to that person across the table what you can do for them. As a writer, I believe it is important to draw from a well of empathy. On assignment, I seek out people whose voices are not often heard and whose lives speak to the places where they live. 
a backcountry woodsman in the Adirondacks who showed me how personal conservation can be, a park warden in the Congo who demonstrated selfless dedication to wildlife in the face of war, a Native American who turns to the natural world for the power that sustains him. The world is richer for their stories, and so am I. I believe that listening to others with empathy is essential to navigating your world with compassion, whatever path you may choose. Working for National Geographic can be exciting. You have an opportunity to shape people's perceptions about the world, but the demands are high. When you're given an assignment, you're expected to deliver. And when things go wrong in the field, you're the only one who's there to fix things. As an editor once told me, we publish pictures, not excuses. My advice to you, no matter what you end up doing or who you end up working for is this. Avoid making excuses when you can't accomplish things. Embrace your own failures, learn from them, make things better, and don't give up until you get it right. Franz and I have been Voices for Nature, and now we are asking you to join us in that quest because the future of our living planet depends on us all. But we also know that people have to feel secure in order for nature to thrive. Environmental health is interconnected with social health. You all are faced with a profound turning point in your own lives at the same time as the world is facing critical issues. But instead of looking at that as a crisis, we encourage you to think of it as a great opportunity. We are convinced that many of you will go on to have jobs that people today haven't even thought of yet. The future is yours to shape. Now is the time for you to add your voices and inspire others with your ideas and your passions. We will all be the better for what you will bring to the world, and we can't wait to see what that will be.